Okay, so here is an example of an AI report with a false positive. Um, you see that the percentage is marked at just 8%, and I'm going to scroll down here and show you the 8% on this student essay. Um, you'll see that four or five sentences here in the introduction are flagged as possible AI, and then when you scroll through the rest of the essay, you see that nothing else is flagged. So it is a very small amount. Um, of the overall essay. When we scroll back up here and look at the fine print, we actually see that Turnitin themselves is telling us that um, when that there's a higher incident of false positives when the percentage rate is less than 20. So as you see, eight is a lot less than 20. So you can say that there's a decent chance that this is a false positive rate. Now, if you do a little bit of a deeper dive into Turnitin's own website, they will tell you here, you can just Google this question, what is the accuracy of Turnitin's AI writing indicator, that they really only sort of have a 99% guarantee for documents that are flagged as over 20% of AI writing. So if you have a document that is less than 20%, you're going to want to have a conversation with a student and seek additional evidence to decide whether or not that was really AI. Um, obviously, you want to have the presumption of innocence. It is bad to uh, accuse a student of AI or give students severe consequences for AI when you're not sure that they have used AI, obviously. With that being said, if you do have something flagged over 20%, you can be 99% sure that there was some AI usage. So it's not that Turnitin's AI detector is bad. It's that you really need to look at that percentage number and look at all the pieces of the puzzle before you decide to apply any consequences. Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to get some additional pieces of the puzzle. If you've composed your document in Google Doc or your student has composed their their I say in a Google Doc, there's a very easy extension that will give you a lot more information about how the essay was composed, and that's called DraftBack. So if you just Google DraftBack extension while you're in a Chrome browser, it's just a button you click to install DraftBack, and you'll see that it comes up here where you can actually play a little video that shows you how the student composed the essay. It's like a time machine. And you can see the student is typing. There's not copying and pasting happening. The student is backing up um, at times, making decisions to change words. And it would be, you even have the time up here in which it was composed. So you can see that the student didn't go back and fabricate this if this was submitted before the time, that they're revising it over and over. No copying and pasting from chat GPT on this one. So that's pretty solid evidence that this did not use AI.